Have you been on GEDmatch and been confused about the multiple kit analysis, wondering what that tool is going to do for you? Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about the chromosome and segments portion of that and how you can use this tool in your research. Howdy, I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics, where we help you understand your DNA, climb your family tree, and write your ancestor's story along the way. If you've ever used the GEDmatch multiple kit analysis tool, let me know in the comments below whether or not it confused you. Very simply, the multiple kit analysis does exactly what it says. It allows you to analyze multiple kits at one time. I have to say that this tool by itself is worth the $10 a month that you pay GEDmatch because the tools that are a part of it can do so many things for you that would take you hours and hours on end to try to do yourself. Here I've logged into GEDmatch and again, I'm using my tier one account because the multiple kit analysis is a tier one tool. You can see right here that it is right below triangulation and right before Lazarus. MKA, multiple kit analysis. Get familiar and get excited about using this tool. When you first click on multiple kit analysis, it's going to bring you to this page where you can manually enter in your kit entries. Now you can type this in directly. You can actually click on the next box, which is all the kits that you manage. So you can select any of those. But the way that I like to use it most is with the tag group selection. So I can go over to my tag group selection. And I can select any of the tag groups that I've already created and it's automatically gonna load those kits into the multiple kit analysis tool. I'm just going to click on a kit and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to visualize the groups. The set of tools that I'm going to talk about today is the chromosomes and segments set. And as you can see from this, there are actually five tools here. There is the segment search, which I've put a video out before. There is triangulation. I've also talked about that in a video. There's the 2D chromosome browser, the 3D chromosome browser, and the compact segment mapper. So these three tools are a little bit similar, although they each give a bit of different information. But let's go through and let's look at the results for this one tag group for each one of these tools. I'm not going to change any of the default values of the centimorgans. I'm just gonna leave it at the seven centimorgans, but I am going to click on the prevent hard breaks because I believe that should actually be a default for everything. This is the compact segment mapper. And what you can see from this is this is actually showing all 26 people from that kit, each with a different color or a different format in that. Some of them are crosshatched, some of them are just solid colors, and it's showing which segments people share in common with this main person. That would be the top person for that tag group. So we can see from this that there's some of these light blue and darker blue that they share a lot of segments with them, while there's a lot of these other colors, the pinks and some purples, they're just sharing maybe a segment, maybe two segments, not that much. But the compact segment mapper allows you to see multiple people's matches and all the segments for it in a really compact spot. And you gotta thank Kitty Cooper for developing this and GEDmatch for allowing you to use this for any of your kits. Now this is a good starting point with a tag group of people that you know are related to start to look at more people in particular. So for instance, I might want to be looking at these three people all together because it looks like they all share a segment of DNA in the same area and that's a good spot to start triangulation. Also, I noticed that there's this other group down here where we got four people that have some different overlapping as far as which segments they have, but it's all in that same general area. So the compact segment mapper allows you to have a lot of information in just a small space and show lots of matches and how they line up. Basically, it's like doing a one-to-one -one comparison with everybody that's in your group. So in this case, I have a one-to-one -one comparison with 26 different people. Next is the 3D chromosome browser. And this is where we're starting to get into not just looking at one person compared to everybody else, but everybody compared to everybody. 
So the more people you have in your group, the longer some of these pages may take to run. But what you have here is we start off with this page has some tables that give you some underlying information. How many segments are shared between people? How much centimorgans are shared between people? How many segments are on each chromosome that are shared? But really what we want is we want this right here, the button that's going to take us to the 3D chromosome browser. So on the 3D chromosome browser, what you see here is that I can rotate things by the X and the Y axis so that I can see where different things line up. There are people along the top and people, the same people along the side that's all going together. But I can change this by chromosome. So some chromosomes are gonna have different people in different areas. The colors indicate the size of those match. And so this is that information from before that was in a table form that's now just graphed out. Some people may find this just overwhelming. And I understand, I actually don't use the 3D chromosome browser very much. But some people that are very visual in how they like to see their data, they find this very good in being able to see how different people are related together over the course of looking at your different chromosomes. So try it out. If you don't like it, that's okay. The great thing about GEDmatch is they've given you so many different options. Next, we have the 2D chromosome browser. Now, this is similar to the compact segment mapper that we looked at initially, because what this is comparing is one person, our main person up here, to everybody else in that group. The difference is that this has the information divided up by the segment size and the start and the end, so you can see that more visually where that is showing on the chromosome. But in essence, the 2D chromosome browser and the compact segment mapper are showing the same information, which is different from the 3D chromosome browser, which actually compares everybody to everybody else. Next tool is the triangulation tool. Now this is similar to the triangulation tool that you can get from the homepage. The difference is, is that now you're just using this tag group or whatever kits you've entered into the multiple kit analysis for that triangulation. It is starting with your main person up at the top there. And each one of these is two matches. You have the first match and you have the second match. Now the first match and the second match both match the main person, but these people also match each other and it tells you where they match each other. Now I'm not gonna go into triangulation too much, but you can always go and check out my other video about using the triangulation tool and how to understand those results to understand this tool more. Finally, the last tool from multiple kit analysis that we're gonna look at today is the segment search. And this is another one that you can do the segment search from the homepage, but this allows you to use that kit. And so we have this main person, then we're just looking at the people that are part of that tag group, rather than looking at everybody in the database that might have a kit that matches with them. So you can see with this, what it is is it's going through each chromosome and seeing what segments match. So this first one on chromosome number one, we have from a start position and an end position and then amount of centimorgans between each one. And the nice thing is, is it gives you this graphic display over here so that you can start to see, hey, do different people have the same segments in common. For instance, if I look down here on chromosome number five, well, there's a couple of people that have the same segment as another segment that is much larger. Now that much larger segment is somebody who is more closely related to this person, but these other two small segments are a potential triangulation point. You could have used the triangulation tool to see that as well. So I'm gonna refer you to my other video on the segment search to understand what you're seeing in this tool even more. But that is the five tools in the chromosomes and segment portion of the multiple kit analysis. Again, you don't have to use tag groups in order to use this. You can actually manually enter them in, or you can click on multiple ones from a one-to-many match or some of the other tools in order to get to the visualization options. 
Multiple kit analysis has lots of tools and it's really easy to get confused. So take it slow and start trying out each one one at a time so you can see the results and see which ones help you. Now, if you wanna watch video on triangulation and the tool in GEDmatch, I have a video there. And on segment search, I have a video down here. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell if you wanna be notified about upcoming episodes.